Okay, uh, this is our second part to identifying proportional and non-proportional relationships using tables. And this is going to be really short because most of the work you are going to do on the problem that you were given uh, in your lesson worksheet. And that's all you're going to be doing tonight. So this is just kind of an extension, another um, chance to practice uh, identifying proportional and non-proportional relationships. And you'll be giving, given a uh, table to work with. So on your lesson worksheet, you have an activity called Who Will Rin Win the Race? So make sure you read the question. Notice you have two tables you'll be completing and then a series of questions that you'll be answering. You are to answer all the questions in complete sentences. Remember to use the question as your sentence starter and then provide evidence and explanation using uh, vocabulary and definitions. So again, another opportunity to practice answering in complete sentences and um, short paragraphs. So make sure you keep that in mind as you are answering these questions. You are going to present your answers in class, so I will not be providing you the answers at this time. We will discuss and make revisions to our answers um, when you present your findings to, uh, in the next class. If for any reason there are uh, any questions you do not answer, in order to receive credit for attempting to answer them, you need to have a specific question as to how or why you are not able to answer the question, and also evidence that you attempted to solve the problem or answer the question. So um, putting some numbers down, writing um, like, I think this is how we're supposed to solve it, um, but just coming up with a blanket statement of I'm confused or I don't know are not going to be acceptable statements. Um, you need to show that you attempted to solve the problem. So write down what you know and also you know, write down what you think you need to do. But again, just don't leave it as I'm confused or I don't know what to do or something like that. Okay, so if you want, even if you can't uh, or if you're not sure about answering a question, Give it your best shot so that you can get re um, receive credit for attempting the problem. All right, before I set you off on that, again, there isn't really anything uh, new that we're learning in this lesson. It's just an opportunity to practice. So um, as our summary, again, for determining proportional versus non-proportional relationships, how does knowing two quantities are proportional help answer questions about quantities? For example, if we know that one cup is equal to eight ounces, what does that allow us to do? Why is having a proportional relationship important? Well, understanding the relationship can allow you to find missing quantities. For example, uh, for the example mentioned, one cup can be substituted for eight ounces or vice versa. If you have uh, the number of ounces, you can determine what the cups are. And this is going to be important for any, uh, any opportunity where we have a missing quantity. Knowing that we have a proportional relationship will help us solve for the other quantity and vice versa. All right, go ahead and get started on your activity and we'll talk about it in class.